Hey, Lexi, I'll start. Uh, thanks for having us. I uh, appreciate your time here today. Uh, I asked for this meeting because I think it's so important that, you know, you're uh, fully appraised of everything that the Real Satisfied platform can bring you. You know, it's just my personal opinion, but I think whatever brand, whatever broker, whatever agent delivers the best customer experience is going to win at the end of the day. So uh, I invited Lexi kind of to explain the why to you, you know, the benefits for you uh, for using the, the platform and some of the benefits. So I'll turn it over to Lexi to have her lead the discussion today. Thanks, Lexi. Thanks, Robert. Thank you, Dave. And thank you, Robert. And Robert, you know, I have to say, for me to listen to you in this short five minutes that I've been on here, you have motivated me so much. Your energy level is very contagious. So <laughs> they're very hold lucky on, to have Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make sure this is recorded. <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. Thank you guys so much for your time. This is the best coach, Robert. Awesome, awesome. See, there you go. You got, you got a second on that. <laughs> I've got two. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you so much again for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, award season, you know, we, we, we are trying to finalize 2022. Actually, no, we finalized 2022, getting into 2023. But first, we have to celebrate all of your achievements. Hopefully, I'll see some of you or hopefully all of you at 121. I hope so. Um, but, you know, before I kickstart the presentation, I just want to take time to say congratulations to all you Centurion winners, your Masters winners. I mean, you guys had an amazing year. Please applaud yourselves. Absolutely. But, you know, today we're here to talk about quality service. So I have to give a special shout out to those quality service producer winners. And I have Lauren Espy, Tracy Trosette, Wendy De Leon, Agnes Ma, and a special shout out to Marilyn Martinez, the only quality service pinnacle president producer. So congratulations, um, that's, that's fantastic. So the goal here today is to kind of review what Real Satisfied is. Hopefully you all know what Real Satisfied is and have been using the tool, but if not, then maybe it's a refresher or maybe it's an introduction to the tool. But certainly we wanna make sure that you are continuing to grow your production and how testimonials your testimonials and your ratings are so essential in your business to help you grow that business, right? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen. I am gonna take myself off camera though, just cause my bandwidth is a little shaky and I don't wanna, I don't wanna you know, get knocked out or anything. So I'm gonna take myself off camera, but you'll certainly be able to hear me and I'm gonna share my screen so we can start talking about Real Satisfied and the tool and how you can be using it um, in the best way. So let's get started on this. Um, so my name, I'm Lexi Lopez. I'm the Senior Manager of Awards and Recognition. I do have my director online as well. That's Lori Levy. She and I are your Awards and Recognition Department. We support all Century 21 affiliates around the globe. So we are very excited um, to again, hopefully welcome you at 121 and see you there and congratulate you in person. So real satisfied. This tool, we've partnered up with them since 2015, you know, and it's a wonderful dashboard where you can easily see and understand how your customers are rating your real estate service with them, right? You want to understand that client experience because it's important. In order for you to grow professionally, you need to know and you need to track your performance, right? Just like you're tracking your production, you also have to track how you're servicing your consumers, and what they think about that service. So you wanna make sure that you are keeping on top of your surveys, that you're tracking your performance and get to see and work on areas that maybe you need a little bit of improvement on, right? We all can use improvement in any which way. Um, but I love the way that this dashboard is easy to monitor that performance. Um, you're also able to syndicate those testimonials on various social media platforms and I'll get to that um, momentarily. But then again, awards and recognition plays a big role in this, right? When customers see a service, either a hotel, a restaurant, 
um, a resort, you know, they look for those ratings in order for them to make a decision if they should go there or not. The same thing in our business, you know, they look for those ratings and when they see that someone has been um, announced as quality service, or determine as a quality service, then they know that other people have enjoyed that service and they want part of that as well. So that's so important. How do you define mediocrity and deliver extraordinary experiences? This is a question you should always keep on top of your mind when you are sitting down with that potential seller or buyer. Every time you sit down with a new customer, this should be the first question into your mind. And while you're learning and hearing and listening to what their real uh, real estate service needs are, you're already trying to track and plan and say, oh, I'm doing this with this customer. I'm going to do this with this customer because that's how you're going to deliver that extraordinary experience for them. You got to remember that you are their real estate leader. They're leaning on you throughout the biggest, one of the biggest transactions in their lives, right? Another fun fact I want to share with you guys is did you know that agents who deliver extraordinary experiences to consumers and they earn that quality service award, they more than double their commission. That's 151% more. They earn more commission than those agents who did not earn the quality service award. So again, here's another motivator, right? It's facts. It's numbers showing you that if you do earn and achieve this quality service award, you're going to get more production. Um, and again, that comes importantly with your testimonials and your overall ratings. One thing that I like to remind, um, you know, people whenever I interact with them and I talk about quality service, you know, it's about brilliant basics, right? Again, we got to remind ourselves that every time we sit down with a potential, you know, seller or buyer, you know, again, you're leading that transaction with them. They're leading up to you to guide them in this. And, you know, sometimes we have to be reminded of these basics, right? We have to be transparent. We have to build that trust from the get-go. As soon as they come into that door to come and meet you, you're building that trust. You're making sure that you're communicating with them effectively, making sure that you're listening, right? You're listening to what their needs are. So if you haven't heard about the Brilliant Basics, I highly encourage you to learn about them. You could go on to 21online.com, use the, the main page search option, type in Brilliant Basics, and it'll take you to that content where you can learn more about what these 10 basics are. And again, they're just reminders, the things that we know, but sometimes we have to hear them or sometimes we have to visualize them. So that way that the next time we're sitting down and we're getting ready for that next experience, we are ready to go and, and, and be be ready to make sure that you're going to deliver that extraordinary experience. Um, just a friendly reminder, you know, hopefully you guys know that there is a Spanish survey available of quality service. So it's in Espanol. So that if you are um, with a seller or buyer of Hispanic descent, and sometimes they, they can speak English and they, they know English, but sometimes they're more comfortable in reading their materials in Spanish. Um, you know, you have the ability to be able to send them a survey in Spanish. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that um, that you guys all were aware of that. So this is how the process works. If, if again, you need a refresher or if this is the first time you're hearing about Real Satisfied, you know, understanding the process is very important. So when you are closing with your customer and you're turning in your paperwork to management or to your administrative assistants, um, you want to make sure that your information is intact. You want to make sure you're collecting email addresses for your customer. So that way it, get, it gets entered into Dash when the transaction is being closed. So once the transaction is closed, 24 hours later, it gets fed to the Real Satisfied platform. Once that 24 hours hits, you as the agent and office administrators, you all get a notification. You get a notification when a survey is sent. It'll let you know in the email who the customer is, what property address it was for, and that's your moment of action. That's your moment of you either picking up the phone, communicating in whichever which way it is that you're comfortable with, communicating with that customer, and letting them know that that feedback, that there's a, a survey invitation that was sent out to them from Real Satisfy, and how important it is to you to get that feedback. Now I'm gonna reverse a little bit. Hopefully from throughout the whole experience that you have with your seller or your buyer, you're putting in or you're, you're seeding and rooting in the word testimonial and how important feedback is to you. So at the end, when you're hopefully closing with that customer, that's not the first time that they're gonna hear you be so 
enthusiastic about getting their feedback, okay? You wanna make sure that it's, it's ingrained in several communication pieces throughout their experience that it's important to you to know how well you did or what areas it is that you need to improve. So you always wanna be candid and you wanna be open about it. Okay, going back to the step. <laughs> so once your transaction information is entered into Dash, feeds over into Real Satisfied 24 hours later, again, notifications that surveys have been sent, notifications that uh, maybe a, sur a survey bounced, maybe there was a uh, incorrect email address put in, you know, we're human, we key in, you know, mistakes. I know I have, you know, sometimes I have dyslexia and my numbers and my letters kind of get switched up. It happens. Um, but the great thing about it is that Real Satisfied gives you those notifications so you can stay on top of it and you can stay on track about how your surveys are doing and what statuses there are in. 48 hours later, after being fed into Real Satisfied, it goes to your Quality Service Survey Awards dashboards. And I hope you guys know what that is, but if not, no worries. I have a few slides to go over that. But 48 hours is the time frame that it feeds from Real Satisfied to your QSS Awards dashboard. And how do you access Real Satisfied? Everything is through single sign-on through 21 Online. So once you go onto 21 Online, you go to Menu, Productivity Hub, Awards and Rankings, and there you will see these two dashboards that I just mentioned. The Quality Service Survey Awards dashboard that is used for you to track how you are doing and progressing and trying to meet the minimum requirements for the survey award. I do have to stress that it does not determine if you win it, because um, we can only determine that at the end of the year after um, the corporate office has received final awards um, reports, but at least throughout the year, you can track to see how you're doing into meeting those goals and those requirements for the award. So there's no actionable items taken in this particular dashboard. However, the Real Satisfied platform, that's where you want to go if you want to resend a survey, if you need to update an email address, you know, and things like that. So the Real Satisfied slash QSS will take you to the Real Satisfied platform. And again, that's where you can print out PDF um, copies of your completed surveys. You can approve testimonials. And there's just so many other things you could do there. This is what your profile page looks like. As an agent, this is what your dashboard looks like. Now, I do have some great news. Uh, Real Satisfied is actually working on revamping the look and feel of this dashboard to make it even more easier and more friendlier in order for you to interact with it. And that should be coming out by the end of first quarter. So look forward to, to having this um, dashboard refresh for you. But three areas I kind of want to focus on right now. The first one is syndication. As I mentioned, you know, Real Satisfied is able to post your testimonials onto various platforms. So if you want your survey testimonials to be syndicated to Realtor.com, you have to make sure that these buttons are turned on and that it'll ask you some, for some further information so that it can syndicate and it can connect into your personal um, uh, profiles per social media platform. So Facebook, making sure that it's a business page. For Twitter, you can also do that. I always get questions on, well, Lexi, can I syndicate onto like Yelp or to Google Plus or to Zillow? So it's not an automatic process, but I'll cover with you something that's called encourage reviews that can help you get your testimonials posted onto those pages as well. Um, the second area is, you know, where it says survey invitations and responses you wanna make sure that that's always clear. But if it's not clear, it's just gonna remind you of some action items that you can take. You know, for example, if there's a email address missing, it'll be there to letting you know it's pending details. Um, if it's something that's quarantined, if it's something that's bounced back, all of those things that require an action will be there. Most importantly, you know, again, the purpose of the surveys is to get your, you know, your customer's feedback but hopefully they're written testimonials. You don't want to collect these written testimonials and not have them syndicated anywhere, right? You want to shout out those stories. And so what you need to do is just make sure that you go into this dashboard, approve, review and approve your testimonials. So that way they can syndicate to all those other different platforms. So don't let it sit there and not be shown anywhere, except for yourself. You want to make sure you review it and you approve it and it gets syndicated out. Then the third area is simply all the list of your transactions that have been reported through Dash. If you see that something's missing, 
email us. We're happy to look into it and see why something was missed. It may have not been a transaction that may be eligible, and I'll go over that momentarily as well. But you know, there's different reasons why something may not appear. But if it's something with the system that's broken, obviously we need to know about it. So you know, again, taking the time to review the information, making sure that you're being credited to the right transaction is important. You know, and you don't want to wait till the end of the year to try to fix anything or try to get something researched. You know, it's it's very good practice to maybe set yourself a reminder, maybe it's a 10 minute window, you know, on, on a certain day of the week where you're sitting in front of your computer and you could go onto this dashboard and review this information. So you wanna make sure that you make the time for all of this. Now, um, and I do have to say, I, I don't know if Dave is still on, but um, I'm not able to see anyone. So if there's like a, a hand raise or anything, I'm not able to see, or if there's anything in the chat, I'm not able to see. So please feel free to pause me <laughs> and I'm glad to take questions. Um, can you, is there a way to enter the, your client's information manually? Because um, a lot of the research indicates that, um, that, on the day of close is the best time to get a review. That's when people are more inclined to do it. Like 30%, I think it's like 30% more response the day of close. And so we're trying to meet, reach that. And um, so I was just wondering if we could input the information manually. That's a great question. Um, so thank you for asking. So, you know, because of our award rules, everything is, is, is tied to a closed transaction. So even our production-based awards, they're all tied to a closing factor. So we have to wait until that information is closed within our system in Dash. And once it's closed, then 24 hours later, that survey will go out. In previous years, before we were even you know, partnered with Real Satisfied, it would take seven days for a survey to go out. So again, in, in reviewing, and we're always annually looking to see, okay, is there a better product out there? Real Satisfied has always surpassed our expectations. And we love that it's it's a 24 hour. Now, whenever we can find something that may be instantaneous, believe me, we'll sign up for that. <laughs> But because our award rules say that it has to be based on a closing, you know, because, for example, let's just say you brought, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Smith in and, you know, you're going and you're you're going through the works and you're, you're almost 100 percent sure they're going to close with you. Let's just say you sent them a survey. But if something falls through, then they're not really going to take that time to go ahead and send that survey out for you. So that's why it's best to wait until it's, it's closed, it's reported, and we can go ahead and send out that information automatically. I hope that helps answer that question. Okay, um, so like I had mentioned, approving a testimonial, don't let it sit there. Make sure that you're taking the time and reviewing that and you know, you get to re read the testimonial before you approve it. So it's not automatic. You know, you have to take the time, read the testimonial. Sometimes there might be some clerical mistakes. You know, that's no problem. We can always ask Real Satisfied to make an edit on that before you actually approve it and it gets posted. So just make sure that you take the time to do that. Again, we want to read, we want to have those rave reviews of you out there and, and in social media. And again, helping you get those future clients. And as I mentioned, you know, there are some other social media platforms that are popular with, you know, posting your testimonials and getting your overall ratings. And that's, you know, on Yelp and Google Plus and Zillow. So real satisfied, not because of the lack of trying. They have tried to get this syndicated through these different other platforms. Unfortunately, they've declined real satisfied. So they came up with a creative way. And this, this is what they call encourage reviews. Now you as an agent, this will require an extra step for you to do initially where you have to activate your platforms first. So when the next time you have a moment to review your, your dashboard and your profile, take the moment, it'll take you a few, maybe a, a few minutes to just go on there, put in your information, turn on your buttons for those three or, or two or one, have whatever works for you, um, so you can maximize and you can get the most out of this program. And again, get those testimonials out there for you. So you would simply go to encourage reviews. You would go, got it, let's get started. A form populates, you turn on the buttons that you wanna turn on and you fill in some information. Once you do that, you'll also notice that you'll be able to review and use your filter options on your dashboard to just look up encourage reviews available because some of those surveys 
will not have a testimonial, but some of those surveys will. So the surveys with testimonials will give you that ability to do that encourage reviews. And all you will need to do is click on encourage reviews, click on that button. And what happens is it sends a link to your customer where it says something like, you know, thank you for submitting your real satisfied survey. Can you take one extra step to get this testimonial posted on Zillow, for example? So all they would have to do is click the button within the email that they would receive. It'll prompt them to fill out those um, stars for Zillow. This is just the example for Zillow. For each one, it's a little different depending on the platform. And then once they click it, those reviews or that star rating will appear on that profile for you based on that platform and the testimonial they don't have to rewrite it again they will take the testimonial they already written and real satisfied and it'll post it on these other profiles uh platforms for you so very easy very simple for you as the agent to set it up and very easy for your customer to follow and get that posted for you okay all right, um, action items. Like I said, don't wait till the end of the year to try to get action items done, right? You want to make sure that you're staying on top of that. You know, again, if you're missing an email address, maybe your customer wasn't ready to give you an email address at the time of closing. Maybe they were thinking about changing their internet provider or their service provider, and they were going to get a new uh, email address later. Make sure that you keep those notes. Make sure that you set yourself up for success and make sure that you, you know, get yourselves, put yourselves reminders to reach back out when the time is appropriate and get that information. Again, the bounced emails, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get that survey. So you want to make sure you put in a correct and a valid email address. And here's one that's that I always get questions on, which is the quarantine status survey. So quarantine means that for one reason or another, the survey is kind of stuck right? It's stuck there and Real Satisfied needs more information from you. So I do have to stress that unfortunately Century 21 is not able to review or approve those quarantine statuses. It has to be a process that's followed with Real Satisfied. So all you would do is you would actually get a notification from Real Satisfied letting you know something has been quarantined and it'll give you instructions on what to do. All you're doing is going into your Real Satisfied dashboard, locating that quarantine status icon, selecting that icon and then clicking on the request review button. And what that does is opens a ticket with Real Satisfied and they are good with responding within 24 hours, no more than 48 hours. And they will give you the reason why it was quarantined and then you can respond accordingly. Now, one of the most common scenarios is a repeat customer. Because Real Satisfied does not whitelist email addresses. And if you work with an investor and you do, I don't know, 20, 20 transactions with them or more throughout the year. It's and it and they and if they're a good customer, they'll they'll complete it each time. That would be awesome, right? Um, but let's just say that they do in this scenario. Each time it's going to get quarantined because again, Real Satisfied does not whitelist these email addresses. So you would have to each time request a review and then simply respond to them once they they send you their findings that this customer is a repeat customer of mine and they'll go ahead and release it. Another common scenario that I see is that, you know, sometimes, you know, we're so excited to get the survey out to your customer because you know they're going to give you a Ray review. And, you know, maybe you don't, you forgot to ask them about their email address or you just simply forgot to give it over to your administrators. Don't send the survey to yourself. Even though you might receive it and then you just forward it on to your customer, it just falls into that gray area because. Real Satisfied follows it, right? They know who receives it. They 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 have the technology to trace it. So you don't want to fall into that gray area where it becomes a little bit more difficult for them to release it for you. So I would just stray away. If the customer is not ready to give you an email address, that's no problem. The information still feeds over from Dash into Real Satisfied. And then you'll always have that as a reminder in your dashboard that it's pending details so you could go back to it. Um, but it, like I said before, Make sure that you're keeping yourself, um, keeping yourself reminding yourself that you need to go back to that customer and get that information. So any questions on that? I'm going to pause on that because I know quarantine is always a big thing. Um, so I'm going to pause real quick for that and see if there's any questions on that. If not, I'll move, I'll move forward. All right, I don't think I hear anybody go off, so I am gonna move on forward. <laughs> All right, so REO transactions, like I mentioned, you know, I, I saw 
you know, a lot of your offices, you know, you work with LLCs, you work with investors, you work with builders, you know, and we understand that not every time are they going to go ahead and fill out that survey for you. So we don't want that to penalize you or to, you know, hurt your opportunity to, to have the quality service award at the end of the year. Just let us know. You can email us on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, but email us, you know, and let us know, hey, you know, awards department, we need these transactions removed because they're repeat customers and they're not going to fill out the survey. You know, so you can send us on, again, like on a monthly basis, a quarterly basis throughout the year, don't wait till the end of the year, but throughout the year, so we can clean up your quality service awards tracker so you can ad accurately see how you're progressing towards meeting your requirements. Again, we do allow to, to remove these, you know, repeat customer and investors want so it doesn't penalize and hurt you at the end of the year. And I did see a few offices with that and, you know, Maybe there was about two or three offices that could have achieved quality service if I had removed those. So you want to make sure that you're cleaning up and you're looking at this information throughout the year. Residential transactions are part of the eligible transactions that they automatically get a survey sent out. Rentals, if you work a lot with tenants and landlords, um, that does require your office administrator to enter them manually, or you can email us at our quality service support email, and we can create those manually for you. And they do count towards your awards, your quality service award numbers. Ineligible transactions include commercial, as well as Cardis affinity partners. And then not only that, we also do have um, certain property types that are ineligible and some that are eligible. So, you know, this document actually lives along with a bunch of other uh, resources for quality service and is actually a uh, Encourage Reviews video link available on 21 Online. So if you go to 21 Online, Go to menu, work with clients, real satisfied slash quality service, and go into the documents section. You'll be able to find this along with some other resources to help you with real satisfied. So some of the best practices I kind of wanted to review, just as I mentioned about those resources, this is another flyer that's available. We have two options in English, and when we have the, these same ones translated in Spanish, it's a, a great way to kind of give a visual to your customer. You know, again, you choose when to give this to them. A lot of people choose to put it into their closing packets so it can remind the customer that this uh, survey invitation will be sent to them. It explains to them who's the email sender and what to expect with the survey. Um, so it's a good, you know, visual to give to your customer. And it's a good talking piece to remind them of how important feedback is to you. Understanding the criteria is also very important. Sometimes I get agents at the end of the year saying, hey, Lexi, I got a 95% overall score and I met all of the other requirements. But then, then when I look and review, they only had six completed surveys and they needed to meet eight. So I don't want you guys to feel disappointed at the end of the year. I want to make sure you guys are aware of what the criteria is and understand it. So that way, when you're tracking throughout the year, you know exactly what you're working towards. So just a reminder, you know, this is for 2023, 80% of your transactions that close from January 1st through December 31st this year, 80% of them have to have a, a successful survey sent to them. 50% of them are required to be returned by our cutoff date of January 3rd, 2024. You also need to have an overall award score of 90% or above. And those are weighted on or measured for any surveys completed for 2023 transactions and have been returned by January 3rd, 2024. As an individual producer, you are also required to have eight returned. For a team, regardless of what size the team is, 12 returned, and as an office, 30 are required to be returned among, and again, this is all the criteria, this is all the requirements for the award by the end of the year. This is what the QSS Awards dashboard looks like. Um, you as an agent can see and track your own information. Again, no actionable items are required here. This is simply a visual to see how you're tracking into meeting the minimum requirements. You know, I highly suggest that you at least enter and look at your dashboard at least monthly. If you could do it more frequently, awesome. But it also depends on how quickly you're, you're closing transactions and things like that. So you set forth the frequency that's most, uh, you know, accurate and appropriate for you. But definitely on a monthly basis, you want to get in here and check out this information. 
take action on your notifications. You know, don't put it aside. I know we live busy lives and we get notifications throughout the day that our, an email has come through. You probably look at your phone, you see the headline. Okay, I'll do it later. Set yourself a reminder on your calendar. Schedule some time. You know, do five minutes, 10 minutes, but do something so that you're able to get into Real Satisfied and take care of those actionable items. As I mentioned before, there's several resources. Like I said, there was Encourage Reviews video there. There's FAQs. There's that flyer, that closing flyer that I, I mentioned about, you know, the survey information for your clients. Take a moment to visit that and download and, and print out those flyers so you have them handy and you can refer to them throughout the year. And as always for award support, you know, you guys all know Dave Miner and now you guys know me. If you guys need any help with awards, please feel free to reach out to, to me or to Lori at c21.awards at century21.com. Um, for anything quality service or real satisfied, please email us at c21.qss at century21.com. And if you haven't done so, please join us on our workplace page, our awards and recognition. You know, not only do we like to post reminders and some, you know, best tips and best practices throughout the year, we also like to see our offices and see how they're celebrating awards um, and, and, and just, you know, learn about your milestones as well. You know, and it's a great networking place. So please join us on Workplace if you can. Um, and that's the end of, of the presentation. I'm going to uh, stop sharing and I will get back on camera. And I am happy to take any, any questions or comments that you may have. I know that was a lot of information. <laughs> and I thank you for sticking with me. Um, I hope that it was helpful. Um, I hope that you set yourself as a goal to be a quality service producer. I want to see more of you guys win and achieve this, this award. You know, it is one of our most popular awards at the brand because, like I said, it's consumer friendly. Consumers understand what quality service is about, testimonials, your ratings, all of that helps you grow your business. So, um, so I hope, you know, this information helped you. I guess I'll kick it back so, over to Le Lexi, oh, yes. question for you. Uh, yes. Other than English and Spanish, are there any other languages that are might be coming down the pipeline for availability? That is a good question. I kind of heard Mandarin may be one that might be in the pipeline right now. I know um, I know our Canadian affiliates uh, have requested that. They work with Real Satisfied as well. So that is one that I have heard. I just don't know if there's an ETA on that. Um, but I think Mandarin would be the next one. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I also Tr have a Trina is sitting next to me. She's one of her a lot of her clients speak Mandarin, so she's excited. Um. <laughs> I have a question as well. Yes. Hi, hi. My name is Agnes with from Oceanside. <laughs> oh, Agnes, quality service producer, Agnes. Yeah, thank you. Also, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know when do we get an announcement or a notification that we were. Yes, uh, that's a great producer. question. That's a great question, Agnes. Thank you for asking. So actually, you. Uh, if you look yourself up on century21.com your profiles mm -hmm. already have your 2022 awards designations okay right now you. we are Lori and i are busy working with our other vendors to get email communications sent out mm. to make sure brand studio is updated with your assets so look forward to getting an email within the next two weeks um, or sooner you know regarding that information and i know i've been working with stephanie uh, in regards to your trophies so i know that's gonna that those are in the works right now so i know you guys are celebrating in march um, I hope you guys share pictures on that. Um, and, um, you know, we're, we're busy working on that stuff. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. And I noticed as well, I know that I have a quarantine, but right now I don't know how to access it. Okay. So then you would go to 21 online. Yes. And once you go to 21 online, go to menu, go to yes. productivity hub. And then you're going to see a section real satisfied slash QSS. And there's a button there that says go to real satisfied. And once you go there, you're going to be redirected to real satisfied. You don't need another login. Okay. And then once you're in your dashboard, you'll see a list of your transactions. Okay. You can use the filter drop down menu to search for quarantine. Okay. Select that red icon and then select request review. I'm just in productivity. <laughs> Sorry, I know that. Was... <laughs> yeah. So sure, maybe so I will take it in another. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so after productivity, real satisfied slash QSS. 
mm -hmm. you might need to, you know, scroll down a little further because it's alphabetical. So you'll, you'll find the R's a little R, lower. Okay. Okay. And then you click on go to real satisfied. Okay. And that will redirect you to your real satisfied dashboard. It says log in failure. Please okay. contact your office admin. Okay. So, all right. So Agnes, I I'm writing it down right now. I'll just have to look to see uh, your profile just to make sure it's active. Um, and then I can email you directly on that and let you know once it's cleared. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you. Sure, Thank you absolutely. Okay. I have a quick question. Sure. Um, so I know way, way back in the day, you guys used to mail the quality service as paper. And I know we all do email, but I work with a lot of people that don't have emails. So they can't do the service. Uh, gotcha. Yes. Because yes. So way before 2015 with our other uh, survey vendor, we did have that opportunity. Um, but because of technology advances, you know, um, we went with this vendor that was just much more quicker in sending out the surveys, right? Seven days versus 24 hours was, was a big sale to us. Um, but yes, for the mail service, unfortunately, we don't offer that any further. Um, you know, the only suggestion I can make is, you know, um, depending on who it is, you know, the customer may be a friend of yours, may be a family friend or a family referral. You know, if there's somebody else within their group that you're able to send the email to so that they could receive the invitation, that's awesome. Don't send it to yourself, though. Just make sure that it's, it's a unique email address pertaining to that customer in some capacity, right? So that way they can help them with that invitation. But if it's truly someone that you're not able to reach at all, again, we don't want that to penalize and hurt your numbers at the end of the year. So please feel free to email us and we can take care of it then and kind of remove it from your numbers. I know that doesn't help with gaining your testimonials. And I'm so sorry that that doesn't you know, help you assist you with that. But um, you know, hopefully from an awards perspective, it, it can help you somewhat. All right, thank you. Sure. Is it able to generate a text link maybe to send a text? So no, there's no mobile capability right now. We have looked into that, but unfortunately what our data shows is that not, not all offices enter in cell numbers for their customers. So it's that data that's uh, highly used, unfortunately in Dash. So at this time we don't have that ability. So who's setting their goal to be a quality service producer? So I you mentioned Lauren earlier. Lauren is one is on here. She yes, was one of the quality service. She is a quality service, service producer. Yes, Yay, she is. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, sorry. I'll stop interrupting now. No, you're good, Robert. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out, Robert. <laughs> All right. Well, again, I hope that I could see some of you, if not all of you, at 121 in you know next few weeks, and that way I can congratulate you guys in person. Um, but if not, again, you know, um, please feel free to email us with any questions, concerns. We're more than happy to help you. Wishing you the best in 2023. And again, I hope I get to see more quality service winners at the end of the year. Um, but again, thank you so much for your time. Have a blessed day, and talk to you guys soon. Thank you, Lexi. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Stephanie, for setting this up. Really greatly appreciate it. Stephanie is uh, always always doing great work setting up all these wonderful things. So thank you, Stephanie. You're awesome. And Lexi and Dave, you are fantastic. Again, 14,000 offices worldwide, and, and here they are giving us some, some time, some shout out. So really appreciate their time. Use it. It's part of your service with Century 21. You get this opportunity to get quality, quality testimonials that go on your website that you can post on social media, since that's what everyone is trying to do is post really cool stuff on social media. Isn't it really cool to have a testimonial from a client automatically posted in a nice format? That's real because, you know, I, I mean, I know no real estate agents would ever lie and post about all their wonderful, great things they do on social media. I mean, no, they would never lie and do that, but you get to do it for real. Yay. <laughs> Good job. 
All right, everybody. Good stuff. If you have further questions on that, they gave a contact information. You can also reach out to the, the concierge team we have here. They can try to walk you through some of those types of things, or we can always reach out to the help desk to get you more information on that. But, you know, this is all part of the, the service you get with the company, one of the, the many great tools. So make sure you're taking advantage of it. All right, good stuff. So we have still more fun, more fun this afternoon with prospecting. So don't leave. We got to do some open mic prospecting. We have Denise is at one. We got Matab at 130, Frank at two, Alex at 230, Freddie at three, Matab, Matab. So we got a whole afternoon full of prospecting because in order to utilize quality service surveys, you need to get transactions. And in order to get transactions, you need to prospect. And that's what we're going to do. Full circle. There we go. You didn't really think as a coach, I wasn't going to wrap that in somehow, did you? Good job, everybody. All right. All right. Good stuff. If you need me, I'm around. If you don't need me, just pretend I'm not. And at one o'clock, Denise will take over for open mic. Um, Robert, quick one. It's Agnes. She's like, oh, Agnes. Here. Okay. Um, Neil Schwartz just emailed us our 2023 quarterly personal production goals. Uh huh. I'm trying to fill it up. What's the difference between production volume and production income? So volume is your sales volume. So if you sold a property for 800000 that's volume. Your income is how much money did you make on the property. So if you mm. made $20,000, then the volume mm. is 800000 and your income is 20000 Oh, So the volume is the price of the property. Correct. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You are welcome. Good stuff. All right. Other questions? Anything I can help out with? You got me just hanging out here until Denise takes over at one o'clock.